How can you compress a CSV file? If you have ever worked with large data sets, you know how important it is to manage file sizes effectively. So how can you compress a CSV file? Let's break it down. CSV files, which stand for comma-separated values, are popular for storing data in a simple text format. However, when these files grow large, they can take up significant storage space and slow down data transfer. Compressing them can help with both issues. First, let's talk about what compression means. Compression reduces the size of a file by encoding its data more compactly. This process is reversible, so you can get back the original data from the compressed version. There are two main types of compression, lossless and lossy. For CSV files, lossless compression is the way to go. This ensures that no data is lost during the compression process. One of the most common methods to compress CSV files is using gzip. gzip is a widely supported lossless compression algorithm that works particularly well for text files. You can easily apply gzip compression using command line tools or online services. For example, if you are using a Unix-based system, you can simply type gzip in the terminal and it will create a compressed file named file name, CSV, gz. Another popular option is zip compression. Zip can compress multiple files into one archive, making it versatile. You can use tools like 7-zip or WinZip to compress your CSV files. Just select the file, right-click, and choose the option to compress it. This method is user-friendly and effective. If you are dealing with extremely large CSV files, especially those over for gigabytes, you might run into issues with standard compression methods. In such cases, consider splitting the file into smaller parts. You can compress each part separately to manage the size better. Alternatively, look for third-party tools that can handle larger files more efficiently. Now, why is compressing CSV files important in data analysis? First, it saves storage space. When you are working with large datasets, every bit of space counts. Second, compressed files transfer faster over networks. This is especially useful when moving data between systems. Lastly, compressed files can be encrypted more easily, adding an extra layer of security during transmission and storage. CSV files usually contain structured data organized into rows and columns. This structure makes them ideal for compression using algorithms like gzip or zip. In contrast, unstructured data, such as images, may requiring different methods for effective compression. In summary, compressing CSV files is a straightforward process that can significantly improve how you handle data. By choosing the right compression method, like gzip or zip, and considering file size, you can manage and transfer large datasets more efficiently.